when we were interns we had to use two bottles for estimation of prothrombin time one sample was collected from the patient and another from the bystander 0.2 ml citrate and 1.8 ml of blood were used the lab would report test value as well as control value so that we could estimate the prothrombin time and prothrombin time ratio and 1.5 to 2 was taken as the therapeutic range for changing or adjusting the dose of warfarin in those times of course pt ratios were not very easy to use and control of warfarin was more difficult in those days than in the days of INR estimation. During estimation of prothrombin time, tissue factor is added to citrated plasma and the time required for clotting is estimated. But there was a lot of variation in the different varieties of tissue factor from different manufacturers and led to erratic PT ratios. That was why the international normalized ratio or INR was introduced. In INR value estimation, instead of test and control used earlier, a PT normal, which is the uh, geometric mean of prothrombin times of an international reference group was used. And PT ratio was estimated and INR calculated from the PT ratio. Every manufacturer of tissue factor used for prothrombin time estimation gives an ISI value of the tissue factor which they manufacture. ISI means International Sensitivity Index which compares the tissue factor with an international reference thromboplastin. When calculating INR, PT ratio that is the ratio of the patient prothrombin time to the PT normal is raised to the power of ISI value that is INR value is equal to PT ratio raised to the power of ISI that is how INR value is calculated after prothrombin time estimation. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video. Kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates.